Hi, I would like to show you our sprite library tool. We use it to generate our sprite atlas and also to add some information to our sprites so we can uh, access it in our game and display them. Uh, here in the right we have the properties panel. In the central panel we have a list of sprites and on the left panel we have what uh, we call the image library. It's just a collection of images for each frame. Also we have a list of binding points where we can create and uh, assign it a color. Uh, later I will explain what we use them for. Uh, here we have the rectangular areas that are mainly boxes that we can apply, apply to uh, each frame. And on the sprites panel, uh, we divide each of our sprites into different components. For example, the MC has uh, five components that are the body, the machine gun, also the ballet we have signed it to the MC. It could be a separate sprite. And each of these components have, has, has their movements. In this case, uh, the body is the most complex one we have right now. When we select each movement, we can see it moving here in the right panel. We have the frame seconds, that is uh, how much time we spend uh, displaying each frame. We can lower it or rise it. And the size of the sprite. If we expand the movement, we can access to each of its frames. Uh, each frame has uh, three panels. The first panel is the layers. Our engine allows us to uh, assign to each frame like four different layers. We are actually using only two. That it's the in this case it's the main body, and here we have the layer for the light. That is what it gets displayed when the MC shoots. There is uh, another part for the frame that it's the points, that is what I said before. Uh, the points are used in this case uh, for binding different parts of the of the sprite. In this case we can we can see that we have the weapon binding point and if you go to uh, another MC part that is the machine gun we display the shooting right, for example. Here we can find the same binding point, so that allows us to uh, attach the machine gun to the MC. Those binding points are not only used for attaching parts and compose different parts of the sprite, but also we can use them to mark special frames, for example, uh, in this case, the shooting right, if we go to the second frame, we have another binding point, that is the shot. In this case, uh, the shot doesn't need to be in each frame, because we use them, we use it uh, to know where, when we have to spawn a new bullet. So, if we go to the bullet compo component, for example, the right one, the only frame that it has, he, we can find the same shot. So. In the code, we can look if we have that binding point and if we have it uh, spawn a new bullet. Uh, back to the frame we were looking at, the first one, we also have what we call the rects. <coughs> In this case, we have a folder, a floor collider for our MC that we use it to uh, check the collisions with the platforms and position it. But for example, in the demon basic, we go to the body, run right here. We will find that we have three different boxes. One is for the floor colliding to have it moving on, and we have two more uh, <coughs> boxes that are used uh, to check when a uh, bullet hits the enemy. So uh, here also we can assign uh, custom frame time. I mean, we've, we've seen that we can select here the speed at we, uh, the speed we play the, the sprite, but, for, but we can also put different uh, time to each frame, so we can handle better the animation. 
and apart from that uh, here we can create grinding points here the direct areas so when we, they are created here with the combo box that we can select uh, to delete here we cannot add more rectangular areas because we used them all but here we can uh, use the body center uh, dust or whatever that it's used to apply other sprites or other effects above the this sprite and when we select when we are done with our sprite editing we can select export and that is what generates our sprite sheets and also a file describing these points and rect areas that looks something like this in this case we are using a json file but we will want we, we won't end uh, using json but for now for the bugging purposes it's 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 good because we can mm, change by hand any value to check if something works or not and here we have uh, what we generate that it's the classic atlas or sprite that you can I don't know how people call it and in this texture we can see that it's uh, that second layer that it's the lighting for for the MC and also the 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 portal where where the enemies are spawned and that's all for this first video I hope you like it and if you have any ideas improvements tell us in the comments or you know we have a tick uh, thread a tick forums thread where you we we update every we, we post our developments our, our development progress so hope to hear from you hope you like it thanks